Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Project Thrift 52 video. If you are new to my channel, my name is Jessica and I'm currently on week 36 of this project and today I'm going to take you into the Scrap Exchange Thrift Store which is located in Durham, North Carolina. I have only been to this thrift store one time. I loved it the first time I came, so I'm really excited to take you guys inside. I'll show you around and then like always, I will show you anything that I purchase at the end of the video. If you live in or around the Raleigh area, definitely stop in this thrift store. There is a ton to look at. Right when you walk in the door, they have a lot of tables set up full of all of the vintage and collectible items. And also leave me a comment down below and let me know what your favorite item was on today's trip. One thing that I noticed both times I have been to this thrift store is that they have tons of vintage items. So if you're looking for vintage items, definitely stop by. I came across a couple of different vintage hobby kits and let me know down in the comments if anybody has had either of these, I would love to know. You know, it wouldn't be one of my videos if I didn't show you guys a pig because they always find me. I know I've said this before in a previous video, but I used to have a ton of these masks on my wall as a teenager. I thought this coaster set was really pretty, not bad for only $2. Another thing that I noticed about this thrift store is they have tons of dolls. Dolls were everywhere. And then when I was walking to the fabric section, I look up and I see this huge doll sculpture tree thing that's just floating in the air. So yeah, I found it. I'm pretty sure this is where all of the creepy thrift store dolls go to die. Very artsy, but very scary. So what is the craziest thing you've ever seen in a thrift store? Leave me a comment down below. I would love to hear your answers.
Another fun thing about this thrift store is that they had the end caps set up in different color schemes. So here is all of the yellow things that have been curated together. And my personal favorite, the green. I came across some homemade art pieces. This one is quite interesting. If you look close, there are little tiny rubber baby dolls glued to it, and it was only $2.50. I came across one of these little bath caddies. I actually thrifted one of these back in week, I can't even remember, but I will link it down in the description box. I was at the Cause for Paws thrift store and I found one of these. If you are looking for books, this place has books for days. They had a whole separate room, which was pretty much a whole library. They had a lot of vintage books, which I was really surprised. So yeah, definitely check out this place if you are looking for books. And the last item that I wanted to share with you is this vintage toy right here. I thought it was cute. I had to try it out. And look at the little feet go. So now I'm going to show you the items that I did purchase. The first thing that I purchased was this modern lampshade. I was really surprised because it was very clean. It has a linen texture and it was only a dollar. So a few weeks ago, I scored two milk glass lamps. They didn't have shades on them. I have been switching out my decor on this entryway table quite a bit lately, and I decided I wanted to add a lamp here, so I thought this one would be perfect now that I have a shade for it. The next thing that I purchased was the Vintage Compact Mirror. This was only 50 cents. I loved the aging on the actual mirror, 
and it was also made in Japan. I did find someone's listing on Etsy with a little bit more information about the mirror. It's the Old Masters Stowaway Makeup Mirror. So I decided to use this as a piece of decor on my bookshelf upstairs. I thought it would look nice on this little pile of books that I have. And here is what the shelf looks like as a whole. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you back for week 37.